everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the zoom tool in Adobe Illustrator. The zoom tool is very easy to use, but you just have to know how to use it because you will be using it a lot. So let's just jump right into it. First thing you have to do is locate your zoom tool. It's located right here at the bottom of your toolbar. You'll recognize it because it looks like a magnifying glass. And if you hover over it, it says zoom tool and Z in parentheses. That means that in order to use it, you can either click on this icon or you can just hit Z on your keyboard and that will activate the zoom tool. So let's click on the zoom tool. And you can see that when I click on the zoom tool, my cursor becomes the zoom tool. And you'll see that the magnifying glass looks like it has a plus sign in the center. This plus sign means that it's automatically set to zoom in. So if you wanna zoom in, you'll keep this plus sign, but if you wanna zoom out, you'll hold Alt or Option on your keyboard, and that will turn the plus into a minus, and that means that now you can zoom out. So if you want to zoom in on a particular part of your artwork, like here, for example, I want to zoom in on the M. So I'm going to hold my cursor over the M, and I'll click with my mouse, and it zooms in on the M. And I'll just click repeatedly, and it'll keep zooming in more and more as I click more and more. And at some point, it's gonna stop me from being able to zoom in any further. As you can see now, the plus sign disappeared from the zoom tool. That means that I can't zoom in any further. So in order to zoom out, I'll just hold Alt, and now you see the minus sign pop up, and I'll just click with my mouse, and I'll zoom out until I have the view that I want to get. So that's the first main way to zoom in and out. But the way that I like to zoom in and out is by using the keyboard shortcuts. So the keyboard shortcut to zoom in is to hold down control on your keyboard and click on the plus key. And as you're holding control, the more that you click on the plus key, the more that it will zoom in. And if you want to zoom out, you hold down the control key and you click on minus until you zoom out as much as you want. That's my favorite method, and it'll really come in handy when you're working on your artwork and you're busy doing a ton of things. Using the keyboard shortcuts makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker to zoom in and out quickly. And there's also another keyboard shortcut to zoom in and out, which is Control and Spacebar, and this will pull up your zoom in. So then when you click with your mouse, it'll zoom in. And then if you hold Control, Alt, and Spacebar, you can click your mouse and it'll zoom out. But a longer way to zoom in and out is by going up to view and clicking on zoom in. But this is not a very convenient way to do this because you'll have to keep going up to view each time that you want to zoom in or each time that you want to zoom out. So I really don't use this method much. And you can actually see that it tells you the keyboard shortcuts right here, control plus to zoom in and control minus to zoom out. And another way to zoom in and out is by percentage. So if you look at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, you'll see here that it says 100%. This means that you're zoomed in to 100% of the actual size of your artwork. But if you click on this drop-down arrow, you'll see that there are a lot of different percentages that you can use here. So if you wanted to, let's say, zoom out so that your artwork is 50% of its actual size, you just click on 50% and it shows you what it looks like at 50% of the actual size. If you wanna zoom in, let's say to 400% of the actual size, then just click on 400% and you're zoomed in to 400%. This is not a method that you would use often, but every once in a while, you just never know when you might want to zoom in and out by actual percentage. So there are two methods that we can use to select over a targeted area by dragging over it with our mouse. One method is the marquee method, and the other method is the animated zoom method. The animated zoom method exists only in Creative Cloud. So let's look at both methods. To use the marquee method, select the zoom tool, and let's say that I want to zoom into the ZOO area so I'm going to click on my screen and drag a rectangle over the ZOO. And when I released my mouse, as you can see, it zoomed into the ZOO. Now, if I want to use the animated zoom method, just so you know, this is the same as or similar to the scrubby zoom on Photoshop. So if you want to enable this feature, you need to go up to view and click on GPU preview. If you were using the marquee method, that means that you were on CPU preview. So what we're doing now is switching to GPU preview. So if you've clicked on GPU preview and you find that your animated zoom is not working, then you just have to do one other thing. Go to edit preferences performance and you'll see that up here it says GPU performance. And right over here, you'll see that there's a checkbox for animated zoom. So just check that box 
box and click OK and now your animated zoom should work. And now that you've switched over, you'll place your cursor over the targeted area, so let's target the O, and you'll click with your mouse and drag to the right to zoom in. And if you want to zoom out, you'll click to the left with your mouse to zoom out. That's how you use the animated zoom. So I didn't like this feature when I first came across it, but it's really grown on me. So try it out and see if you want to use it. If not, you can always go back to CPU preview and use the marquee method. So why do we want to zoom in and out? Well, you'll see that when you're working on things, sometimes you might want to get the whole picture like we have right now. And sometimes you may want to zoom in on certain details, especially when you're about to work on them. So let's say that I want to take this M and manipulate the shape of it. I'm going to want to zoom in so that I can easily click on the anchor points and manipulate my shape in any way that I want. Also, sometimes when you're changing colors and maybe you're adding a pattern to your lettering like this, you may want to zoom in and just make sure that your pattern doesn't have any breaks in it or mistakes. You may want to see what that just looks like close up. Or if you're working on a print, you'll definitely want to zoom in and out. Again, you'll want to zoom out to get the whole picture of what your print is looking like, but you're going to want to zoom in when you're manipulating your print or making any changes. So if I wanted to change the shape here of the print, I would definitely be zooming in. Or if I was making any type of color change, I'd want to see it zoomed in first, and then I'd want to zoom out. And also, when you're almost done with a presentation, you may want to just give it a quick check by zooming in on the details and making sure that everything is in its right place. You want to make sure that there are no mistakes. So let's say right here, I found that one of my stitch lines moved. That's something that can easily happen as you're moving things around on your board. So I'm just going to fix that now. And because I used my zoom tool and I did a quick double check of my artwork, I was able to catch that before I sent it out. And real quick, I just want to show you that if you're zoomed into any area and you want to get your artwork to fit back on the screen in one shot, just click on the keyboard shortcut Control or Command and zero, and that'll make your whole artboard fit back on the screen without you having to zoom out by clicking multiple times. You can also use the hand tool to do this, but we'll be discussing that in another tutorial. So that's it for this tutorial. As you can see, the zoom tool is very easy to use, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys!